Oh, there you are. Sure. So let's make a contribution. He had it all the time. Mr. Miller, he'll never let you down. Oh, yeah, we were holding some debts. I forgot. Simple. Even you'd get it, Arthur. Well, thank you. What do we give him? Eight bucks. All right, what's old John Marston got for us? Hey, Arthur. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> What did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. <laughs> So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the truck. like that scary mask I just bought. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. What's up, turtles? Find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. <clears throat> Wagons that can be stolen for John are blipped with that. Let's go, Buttercup. We got some wagons to steal. Actually... Get out of here, dude. They're up north, so... Let's head up into Valentino because we can sell this buck to the butcher, um, and then maybe visit our 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 maybe get some Putin nanny while we're up there. I don't know. And then we can head east and steal some stagecoaches. Then maybe I'll feed my horse. Buy John's kids some candy. I actually think I already have ki uh, candy in my inventory. I just forgot to give it to him, to be honest. Do I want to go up there? Down there? Whatever. I should probably stay up. Rockstar needs to come out and say if it's coming to PC. I'm sure it is. I mean, it's going to be just like GTA. I don't know why they would skip on a huge PC market like that, you know? I think they'll take their time. There's no rush. They're going to make sure that 
PS4 and Xbox are good to go before they worry about it. Five dollars fifty cent. Three fifty-seven for the pelt. Not bad. That rack though. Oh, that's the carcass. Okay. And dollar fifteen for the antlers. Not bad though. Just they all came in like this. And the venison. Another two dollars sixty-four cent. That was a pretty good little haul from one deer. He said, wish they all came in like this. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the O'Driscoll boys. I made it right with you, I swear. Well, okay. Blood all over my horse's ass, that's the way I like it. Why did I get a negative? What did I do? Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Oh, shit. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Uh, um. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. No she more. heard he Arthur. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined... The Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Uh... Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. She ain't damn right. You already owe me. Okay. All right. That doesn't look like something I have to do right now, does it? Need your help bringing her brother Jamie home from a cult called the... <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess we can go do it. Hey, boy. I 
Frisco. She wanna get stuff like a cannoli. What the hell, bruh? Let's go save little bro bro, I guess. You're alright, boy. You're alright, boy. Real good. Is he eating these or not? Release to use. Three. That's it. Yeah, she can't be riding. You pooping and eating. Oh, buttercup, I love you. The winter gunslinger. Guess I'll brush your ass. Dirty old bitch. There, now can everybody shut the hell up about feed my damn horse? Jesus. Giddy up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Let's go. Up. See, I took better care of it than this asshole did. What if this guy's got any loot? What's this lady doing out here? Oh, hey, you there. Think you could help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Oh, yeah, I totally didn't just steal all your shit. Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, she got ups. You know Emerald Ranch? Hey, hold on Are real tight, honey. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where the, where the hell are you going, lady? Emerald fucking ranch. God damn. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining, but does he do something about it? Scared the shit out of me. Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Sounds Marriage about like me. For me. Oh, God. No. She gone. Buttercup, are you okay? Boy. I am so sorry, Buttercup. Oh my lord. Where'd she go? You want to ride or not, you fat bitch? Yeah. <laughs> the hell's your problem? Oh God! Haven't you ever heard the expression? You fall off your horse, you get back on. Assault my fucking ass. Who witnessed what? She's the witness? Oh my god. Help. I need help. Listen, I'm gonna let Buttercup skull fuck you, lady, if you don't. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Buttercup, fucking slow down. There we go. Jesus. Oh, shut your mouth, old lady. Goddamn. No 
Jesus. Oh my! Oh my is right. Don't do this. So while I got you. <clears throat> Hmm. I don't trust her. What do you guys think? I don't trust her one bit. What do you think, Buttercup? Gotta get her away from this trail. People don't see. Listen, lady, I don't oh, want to do this. That's how you deal with that. Yep. I mean, she seemed like a nice old lady, but I mean, damn. Wasn't my call. Oh, God, Lord. Wasn't my fault. Butternuts. Yep. Flipped us over a damn rock, and then she wanted to get all froggy about it. and I don't know. I think the point of the matter is that she overreacted. Yeah, I just sent her to go with her horse. That's damn right. Let's go, butternuts. Easy there. Oh my. What do we have here? I got one stick of dynamite. I'll take them all out in one blow. No fish to steal? Don't mind me. Shell of safety, dude. Uh, yeah, so, um. Shell of safety. Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Did he well, choose a path, or did you choose a path for him? His sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. Can I He's slay all these religious nut jobs yet? What path have you chosen, sir? The path of anal penetration. 
I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Maybe. I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? What are you talking about, guy? Turtles. I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey. <laughs> you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Um. Uh. Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... It's gonna fall off the damn cliff. I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! We'll go lasso the boy. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! God damn, he's fast. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way! Let's get that. Not the tomahawk. There. This is none of your damn business. Sorry. They're just using you. Oh shit. Telling you what you want to hear. Thought it would auto aim. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Just stop and let's talk about this. You pop up out of nowhere. Come on, baby. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. I was doing just fine by myself. Shoot his horse in the ass. That's a good idea. I might do that if Come I can't on, catch the fast part. Yeah, stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Okay, yeah, I like that idea better, I think. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. I don't have to answer to you. your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! Don't let me, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. Me suit you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. What the hell's he shooting for? Oh. He's gonna run in front of that train. I hope you get hit. Oh. Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... Uh, uh oh I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm... Lasso his ass. Leave me alone! Slowly press right here for you. Oh my god. Calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. God damn. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. 
Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Nice purse, kid. Yep. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. Been a long time, I saw you. Didn't try to without you, my friend. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. <laughs> All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say? Hey, Jamie. He's a good father. Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um... Uh, Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? <laughs> yeah, I love apples. Oh, my God. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Yeah, boy. I got you a little brother. It's a time for you to play with my penis. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. Wow. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. What she give us? Oh, is that her? Are we just carrying her back? What? Yeah, okay. Take me home, country road. I've... To play. You're... I belong. Oh, you'll never change. I know that. You know those lips wrap around a dick so well. What? I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Uh. Somehow, I imagine I shall. Is that like a journal entry? All right, Buttercup. I didn't get my dick wet, Buttercup, but maybe we can do something for you. So we're about to go steal some damn stagecoaches. Oh, shit, they're gone. Oh, John Marston, did I fuck up? Did I take too long chasing pussy?
to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, country road. Okay, butter stuff. <laughs> Shit, we just ran over a pheasant or something. <laughs> West Virginia. Mountain Mama. Evening, Arthur. What's up, Cosm Trauma? You never got us that oil wagon, did you? Uh, well, I'm sorry. I'm going to. He forgot. Well, don't worry. It's taken care of. Good. Otherwise, we'd miss that train. Thank you. You're still interested in the job, ain't you? Well, yes, but uh, I think we'll need another man. I like Charles Smith for this kind of thing. I'll get him. You meet us at the wagon when you can. There's an old burnout shack up near the border north of a place called Dewberry Creek. We stashed it there. Thank you. See, Arthur, even you make mistakes sometimes. 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 Mike is a crazy bastard. Where's this stashed shit? What, what's he talking about? Oh, damn. There's the fishing. I don't see what John was talking about. Something stashed over by a creek. Should be yeller. Flacco Hernandez. Those are those damn photographs. I love you too. <laughs> There's a spot here for you, Arthur. Nah, the M on the map is Micah. I, mean, I guess that could be it. That's the only thing I see, but I want to go fishing first. I don't give a fuck. Guess the wagons are with Micah. I didn't really pay attention. Come here a minute. What is it? Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? Okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you. Why can't fucking John do it? Fuck Abigail for even asking Arthur. She should have asked John. Bitch. What's up, Jack? Stupid ass Jack. <laughs> oh, shit. What you up to? Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. 
Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Mount your horse. Breaks over, boy. Dude, little Jack Marston is so fucking cute. Lift you on when you're ready. Where the hell did that bobber just go? Let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Item request. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. Little pro tip, Jack. If your mom tells you to call somebody uncle, I can't wait to get. And they're not there. actually the brother of your dad. That means your mom's fucking Just him. Just by the water there. You mean? Just want you to know that. Some bait. Cheese. Bread. Bobber fish and corn bait. Hmm. Cheese catch us nice catfish. I'm gonna Wait, eat. oh it gave a description. Hold on. Some cheese. Cheese? Wait, how did I access the that? The better. Now cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Real cast. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is. <laughs> I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. Bruh. I know I've been away lately, but I still love you, slut. W That's a tiny ass fish. Look, Jack, it's a red fin pickerel. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Why? Give them a chance to grow up a bit. One pound three ounce. I mean, okay. Can Jack. I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. That's why the quick equip. Girl and perch. Bullhead catfish of the corn. Okay, here we go. Let's do that. I'm gonna pick 
some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Bitch, how many fucking times do I have to equip it? Do I not have any? The fuck? One of four, two of two. Is it not? Does it want me to just use cheese for now? Okie dokie. Oh, I let it go. I wonder if there's any strategy to like reeling. What's Jack doing, dude? Got one, Jack. Tiny ass mofo. Well, Same damn one. Spot for red fin Let's come over here a little bit. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. Yeah, I know. Boring as hell. But then something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? Wait, top donors upside down? Alright, I'll fix it here in a second. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Huh. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Fish on the line. There we go. Pull him in. That's better. That's a little bluegill. Beam or corp copper nose. This oily, greedy fish is typically pan fried cheese, is a good bait and can increase strikes. We keep it. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such common oh, shit. circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Jesus. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and oh, all. My. You people venerate savagery, and you will die savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us sooner than others. 
Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are wow. they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. Getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Fucking Jack is so goddamn cute in this little fishing pole. Are you taking me back? Damn it, Buttercup. Okay, boy. Let's try not to trample the kid, okay, Butterstuff? Okay, we're waiting on the kid. Okay, I can't move. Butter stuff just eats the kid. Idiot. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Matt? Is he in jail? I think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Have I never seen this? Yeah, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Give that to your mama. Did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Yeah. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, uh, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? We move camp. I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. All right, a fisher of men. Well, hey, now we can fish and uh, all that good stuff, so. Actually. Yo, little John, or uh, Jack, rather. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. I got you some candy, dog. men hadn't ruined it. don't worry about them, okay? You want some candy, bruh? Well, I should get back to it. Let me know if you find candy. I have some. That's what I'm trying to tell you, dog. Yo, I have some candy. What are you doing? Bro, you shouldn't play that close to the... Is he peeing? Yo, John, I got you candy, bro. 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 Don't ignore me. Bro. Bro. Uh... Oh, 
want to give it to Jack. Not eat it myself, son of a bitch. Well, shit. Alright. 